And now, let's tackle some water. The first thing to do is to inspect the crossing. From the bank, a rider will be able to see what the possibilities are and make up his mind what to do. It's not difficult to judge that this stream is shallow enough for a machine to be ridden across, providing the bottom is firm enough. Water must always be taken slowly, so as to cause as little disturbance in it as possible. Taking it fast would create a bow wave, which would drown the engine and put it out of action. Bottom gear is always used, so enter the water gently and feel your way across. You notice how the water is parted to allow the engine through. If the water is deep enough to cover the exhaust, keep the engine running just fast enough to overcome the back pressure in the silencer. But slip the clutch in order not to increase your speed. Remember, always go as slowly as possible, keeping, of course, your balance. Leaving the water, in this case, presents no difficulty with such a good surface. But with mud, acceleration must take place before the rear wheel leaves the stream. Every advantage must be taken of the wheel grip afforded by the stream bed to take you up the slippery bank. The same principle applies to a steep bank. Accelerate to take your machine up the slope, but do it while your rear wheel has the grip given by the river bed. You've already been told about taking a crossing slowly this is what happens when it's taken at speed. Not only is the machine drowned, but the rider is wet. Very wet indeed. This rider doesn't seem to have taken it to heart very much, but then he was only demonstrating this bad technique for your benefit. Riding across streams is quite easy so long as you know how, and you should do by now.